Hi guys, Ben from Hobby King. I'm here with Byron. It's that time of year again. It's time to lift some beer. The uh, Hobby King Beer Lift Challenge 2015 is back in action. Now it's pretty simple. The person who can lift the most beer wins. And by wins, we mean there's $2,500 of store credits up for grabs. That's right guys. And just like the last beer competition, uh, there's gonna be several different classes. It's a little bit different than our previous challenge that we had because now we've added a new class. We've got the 250 race class uh, because right now that's an extremely popular part of the multi-rotor scene. And there's some rigs out there right now in the 250 class that are extremely powerful. Uh, they're more than capable of picking up some beer. So we wanna see what you guys have got and uh, see some of these powerful 250 rigs lifting up beer. So we, uh, of course, same as last time, have the 500 class and then the unlimited class as well. Uh, the unlimited class, you can build anything you want. It can be something just insane and picking up uh, as much beer as possible, obviously. So uh, on our last competition, the uh, unlimited class, we saw some pretty insane rigs out there. Uh, yes, picking up <laughs> incredible amounts of beer. So we want to see that again this year. And uh, additionally, there's going to be one more class, which is the disaster class. So this is for uh, those of you who uh, build your multi-rotor, you try your best, but something maybe went wrong, something didn't go as planned, and you had a disaster. So make sure you get it on video, uh, because whoever has the most disastrous uh, attempt at this uh, beer lift and uh, catches it on video, submits it to us, they are gonna have a chance to win up to $500 store credit, which is pretty awesome. Pretty cool to get paid for failing. Now, if you don't win, don't worry, there's plenty of multi-star batteries up for grabs. And uh, what you need to do now is follow the link down here and check out the rules and find out how to enter this year's competition. Okay guys, so now it's time to talk about the rules. The first class is the 250 class. This is anything up to 250 millimeters. And this is measured diagonally from prop center to prop center. The next class is the 500 class. That'll be anything 251 millimeter up to 500 millimeter. Now the last and probably most interesting class, I guess that's debatable, is the unlimited class. So that'll be anything 501 millimeter up to whatever. Uh, you can do anything you want, uh, anything crazy, insane, big rig uh, that's gonna pick up kegs of beer. Uh, the sky's the limit, guys, so just go crazy with it. Okay, so the last class is the disaster class. So uh, this is for those of you who give it your best try, but something just didn't quite work out and uh, you had a disaster. So make sure that you get it on film and uh, whoever has the wildest, craziest disaster and catches it on film is going to have a chance to win $500. So as we mentioned before, it's $500 for failing, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so what you have to do is each step of the uh, process in one take. Now that's really important. You have to have everything done in one shot to qualify to enter the competition. Now, the first thing you need to do is show the weight of your payload in this case, this lovely in-house brand beer. Okay, so you have to have that clearly displayed. The next thing you need to do is measure your multi-rotor from motor to motor. So with a tape, you have to get that in the shot and then show that you're using a Hobby King battery. Okay, and that's, that's simple. You need to get that all in the first take and then go on to the next part, which is actually lifting your payload and you have to hold it up for 10 seconds. Okay guys, now for the videos, these have to be uploaded to YouTube and linked to us through our official entry form on the website. And as far as the, uh, the beer that you're picking up, this is the Beer Lift Challenge, but we understand not everyone is able to get a hold of beer. So, uh, you know, you might not be old enough to buy beer or uh, maybe you just don't have beer close by. So anyway, any drinkable liquid is acceptable. Uh, so, of course, we encourage you to lift beer because this is the Beer Lift Challenge, but any drinkable liquid is okay for this challenge. Now, one last thing that's important to mention, uh, there are no duplicate entries allowed. So any multi-rotor rig that you may have uh, you know, entered into our last competition will not be eligible for this competition. So it needs to be a new rig that was built between 2014 and 2015 and not previously entered in our uh, last beer lift competition. Now, just to sum up the prizes and the classes, the unlimited class has a $1,000 store credit prize up for grabs and the 500 and 250 are both a $500 store credit. Now you need to get those entries in before the 1st of October. Uh, anything submitted after that date won't count. Okay guys, now one last thing. To encourage our entrants to get the entries in early, uh, there are some uh, stipulations for the uh, time that you enter this, as Ben has already mentioned. Uh, now, anything submitted after September 1st, uh, actually the prize amount will be reduced by $50 every week. 
So as an example, if someone in the unlimited class uh, has uh, won the competition, but they didn't get their entry in until, say, September 7th, uh, actually the prize value that they will receive is $950. So it's very important to get it in as early as possible, and we encourage everyone to get your entries in before September 1st. So uh, we've done all that. We've got our beer. We've got our quads. So let's give it a go. Ben, you might want to watch out here. All right, guys, so simple as that. We look forward to seeing your entries real soon.